Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Parisa Saga and this is the Beauty Saga. Today's video is my May favorite. So I have a bunch of items I am so excited to talk about. I have a skincare item and the rest is all makeup and it's just delicious. So if you want to see all the products that I have been absolutely loving the past two months, then just please keep watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get the skincare item out of the way. This is from the brand Soap and Glory. It's called the Beauty Sleep Accelerator. Night and Flight Moisture Miracle. So what this is, is like a nighttime, like deep, rich, hydrating cream. It has all sorts of good stuff in there. A bunch of ceramides. It's got ginseng, hyaluronic acid, rose, peach oil, sweet almond oil. I have been using this every single night since I got it. Hopefully you can see how much of a dent I have put in this jar the past like month. I have insanely acne prone skin and this is so deeply hydrating and like rich and it doesn't break me out at all. It doesn't make my blackheads worse at all. It doesn't make me greasy or oily. It is like amazing. It just sinks into your skin while you're sleeping and you wake up with like the firmest, plumpest, like high, most hydrated skin and like it's been doing wonders for my fine lines. My skin is like really oily but it's also dehydrated and this has really replenished the hydration levels in it. Like my fine lines are looking so good. I put this on and like the next morning my skin looks better. My acne, my irritation, any redness, it just, it's such a good cream. The only like negative is that it is really strongly peach fragranced. I actually enjoy that, like I really love the scent of it, but fragrance and skincare generally is not a good thing and a lot of people are very sensitive to it. So if you are sensitive to scents, you're gonna wanna pass on this one. I really like it. I find, I find the scent really pleasant. So I have some lippy products to talk about. In my last favorites video, I mentioned these hard candy cashmere silk glosses. Still totally obsessed with these, but I have some other ones, that, some other lip goodies I really, really like. Right now what I have on my lips is this Vivid Hot Lacquer from Maybelline. It's in the shade Unreal. This is a crazy opaque gloss. It is very heavy and very sticky. So if you don't like sticky glosses, you will not like these. What I like about it is it hangs around on the lips for such a long time. And this shade specifically, Unreal, takes any lipstick and like tones it down, makes it more nude and more wearable. And I have just been constantly putting this over any lipstick that I think is like too peach or I think is too bright. I've been fixing it with that. Love it. Another favorite is this Wet n Wild. This is the Color Icon Lip Gloss in Pout of Paradise. As you can see, it is a gorgeous sort of like terracotta orange, burnt orange, nude. Not nearly as opaque, but it is pretty dang opaque. What I like is that it can actually be sheared out and just gives your lips like this juicy, fresh hint of color. It's a lot less sticky, a lot more comfortable to wear. It just rides in my purse and I just like dab a little bit on my lips whenever I want my lips to look lush and beautiful and have a little bit of color to them. And the last absolute lip favorite is this L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Lip Liner in Nude. I have it swatched down here. It is such a creamy, pigmented lip liner. You can totally fill in your entire lips very easily. I love that it's retractable. You don't have to sharpen it. It's just such a beautiful sort of like tawny nude color. It goes with every nude lipstick and it wears super beautifully. I am really digging it. I liked it so much I went and I got like all of the other colors. 
because the formula is really impressive. I have been really into cream blushes, especially on like those easy makeup days. They're so easy to just blend into your skin, even if you're not wearing any foundation. And they look gorgeous. So I have been obsessed with this makeup revolution. This is the Blush Palette Melts. I think you can see from like looking at the pans how much I've been like digging into these. These are really creamy. They're fairly pigmented, but like not so pigmented that you can't blend them out. They blend so beautifully. They wear gorgeous. And honestly, I love every single shade in this palette and it's only a $10 palette. So you get eight really gorgeous shades for $10. I think it's really nice if you want to like try cream blush and you're not like really sure if you're gonna love it. This is a really great palette to start with and I can't put it down. I keep reaching for it over like even high-end blushes. I'm like, give me that little Makeup Revolution palette. In my last series video, I mentioned this Tarte Park Avenue Princess contour palette and I still really, really love this. But I have another contour palette that I have been using so much. This is the Lorac Pro Contour. This has been around for a really long time, but this product is new to me. This is what the inside looks like. I absolutely love the medium contour shade for like bronzing. I go in with the light contour shade, which has a little bit more of an ashy tone to like carve out my cheekbones. It is what I am wearing today. I also really love the beige highlight for like highlighting my face. The yellow highlight is really workable under the eyes as a banana setting powder. And I do like really enjoy this highlighter. It looks so beautiful when it's blended in. My only complaint with the highlighter is that it is white based and if I get too much on it starts to look like ashy on my skin tone which is crazy because I have like light skin. It should not be looking ashy on me. But besides that little grape, these powders are so soft and pigmented and they are crazy blendable. It is really hard to make a mistake with this palette. These powders are really forgiving. Even if you do end up like stamping too much color down, you can just really easily blend it out. I'm like really, really impressed. It makes me wanna like check out more of Lorac's like face products because I love this palette. I have a new favorite mascara. It is Benefits Roller Lash. I like love this curved wand on here. It is so easy to get like my little stubby bottom lashes and it holds my curl all day long. It never flakes, it never smudges. It is so good and like what your lashes, I'm wearing falsies today. But I have been wearing this a bunch in videos without any false lashes and it just gives your lashes like this wispy sort of gorgeous look. Such a good mascara. Another favorite product is from Benefit. This is the Benefit Boyoing Brightening Concealer. I have it in the shade number two. This used to be called Erase Paste and then they like changed all of their concealers to be Boyoing. So if you've used Erase Paste in the past, this is the same product. I love, it's like such a gorgeous like peachy tone. So I use it as a corrector. What sets this apart from like even other color correctors that I do enjoy is this is so hydrating. Tarte Shape Tape on its own under my eyes really gets into like my under eye creases and can look really drying and just like crusty and texturizing and putting this brightening concealer down first really hydrates my under eyes and then the Tarte Shape Tape doesn't crease and doesn't look as dry. This is such an emollient, beautiful concealer. I am obsessed. Oh yeah. This, this next product is probably like my favorite of my favorites. This is the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Foundation. So it says foundation and highlighter in one. Your favorite baked foundation swirled with ribbons of our signature baked highlighter, a luxurious combination that color corrects, brightens, and illuminates for a flawless glowing skin in a single step. 
What drew me to this product originally was the display at Ulta. It said that this product is like 95% the Baked Balance and Brighten foundation and 5% highlighter. And I was like, whoa, I want to try that. I wear the shade Medium. And as you can see, it's like marbled. What I love so much is this is like a glowy powder, but there's like no really like obvious shimmer. Honestly, I wear this to set my foundation most of the time. I also wear this without foundation on those like easy makeup days. I just put concealer in like the center of my face and then I put this on my forehead and cheeks and just blend everything together. It gives like coverage, but it's like not too much. It doesn't look makeup-y and it just makes your skin look so radiant and glowy, but it's a powder, so it's controlling oil in the T-zones. Oh man, it's so good. It's spendy. It's the same price as the, the other Laura Geller products, but it's worth every penny. My skin looks so glowy and beautiful when I wear this. And then my last favorite is the Julep Win Pencil Met Gel Long Lasting Eyeliner. I have it in blackest black. I absolutely love this little liner. It's really easy to line your top lashes with it, but it's also easy to like do the dreaded tight lining. Goes in the waterline so smoothly. It's like just you barely have to put any pressure and you get full opacity and then it stays in your waterline. You don't have to like tug. Cause like when you are tight lining, you do not want to be messing with tugging. <laughs> no, no thank you. Very pigmented, very creamy, but it lasts. It stays put. These Julep pencils are fantastic. I love this one so much that I actually went and I got the brown one and the navy one. I haven't tried those yet but I bought them because I love this specific one so much that I was like, I bet those other pencils are gonna be real good. So that wraps up all of the goodies that have stood out to me as somehow being way above the rest. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. You can check out The Beauty Saga on social media. I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media, and I would love to hang out with you guys there. I really hope you subscribe, and I hope I'm gonna see you on my next video. So, until then, bye!